On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over. I think Siori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. And we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something it makes me feel a moment of panic. I thought it said penis. The penis is always on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri? You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? Anyways, let's go inside. See, you brought a lot of stuff with you. It's all in her butt. It's all in her hair. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You remember her asking me to buy anything? Did she? D apparently. What'd she ask you? I, if, I, if I bought everything that she asked for. At least I hope I got everything right. I take Yuri to my room. Oh yeah, this is where the magic happens. Dude, look, my YouTube setup. <laughs> the first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. I put away all my porn, right? All under your bed. <laughs> it's under the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> cleaned it before you came over, so... I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. In real life, I don't care. You want to come to my house, you can see my dirty room. That's all there is to it. Dirty magazines. I've been a bachelor for a long time, ladies. Stuck to the wall. My work boots track in a lot of mud. And sperm. What? They're work boots, not hooker boots. For you, they're both. That would have been more embarrassing, right? Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist. Which was in the process of opening the desk drawer of mine. Porn! It's fine, it's fine. Should we get started? I'm yeah. glad I shaved. Oh, yeah. This is, this is happening. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna go party. You're gonna. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. It's great. Easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Yes, that's the best way to put it. No, not at all. A lot of the greatest people in history were intense. 
Hitler was intense. <laughs> That's something that I like about you, actually. No need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Oh yeah? Like what? Your rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. Do the romance one. Do the romance one. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes. A switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? Now I'm actually learning something. <laughs> About aromatherapy? Yeah. It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this. So I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Yeah, I had to have it over here. Hmm. Oh yeah. What will those be used for? really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me? Or is she more relaxed when it's the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Aromatherapy. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to match my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Hot check, a pocket knife doesn't even give two craps about scissors. Straight pocket knife. Hell yeah! Purple hair, yes! Uh, the knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. Looks really fancy. Embarrassed, Curie looks away. What is it?
You're a whatever it is. I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? Promise. Into knives. You're not a cutter, are you? She's always wearing long sleeves. And she's into knives. And she keeps to herself. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. For you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's... Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Yeah. It's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife. With the handle facing me. Take it and turn it around in my hands. Feels heavy and extremely solid. Nice fifth pack. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness. I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. I now have AIDS. What the fuck? See, I told you! <laughs> Ow! Didn't expect it to be that sharp. Cause I'm an idiot. And I just poked the tip of a knife like something cool to do. <laughs> Barely touched it at all. I guess you sharpen your no your own knives. That's hot. Small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh. Without warning. The fuck? Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Getting kind of weird, Yuri. It's really fucking hot. <laughs> I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Is this like suitable for kids or? The opening even says it's not suitable for kids. It's getting pretty kinky. Kind of like it. She's sucking on your finger, bro. My bloody finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. <laughs> Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. Sure, it was a little weird. Took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overacting a little. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. Wait, what? What? Read that out loud? Did I read that right? 
I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Now we're even! Drew just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. I'm weird. And yes, I did just look at my finger. Just, yeah. Gary giggles shyly. Uh. Gary called me weird. I have no response to that. I don't think I need one, actually. Look, I already stopped bleeding. It's a vampire! Tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. It looks great. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. What do you have in mind? In my mind it immediately went to I want to create a boner. Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups. Rather than full size glasses, I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drops, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeves, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? I think you called it. I think she should have cut her. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. What are you going to write? Yuri smiles at me. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Back when I was good at stuff. Like naps. <laughs> Painting on the banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. You sounded relaxed saying that. I have never passed a single art class I've ever been in. It's kind of fun, you know? <sighs> Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to pump into hers. Sorry. Are you hurt? Uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. You have to take your shirt off. <laughs> Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel. Then I dampen it with hot water. Are you leaving the room again? I return to my room and kneel back in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with, my, with the towel. Is something wrong? Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I didn't recognize from when she reads her books. Is this the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Yuri slowly pulls away. It, it, it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it begins. 
Yuri picks up her brush again. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I was secretly hoping we can have extra time after finishing the work. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why.